what's going on guys so I'm at the range today um, I probably only shoot half of it just because it's uh it's so busy <laughs> no just kidding guys I got shit to do this because this is um this has been my uh, my training ground and it's nothing special guys it's nothing special at all the town doesn't keep up with the targets um, but you know it is cool it's it's interesting so um, I wanted to run you guys through a couple of the targets. I'm not going to go through the whole course, but I kind of want to show you guys, you know, maybe what I bring with me on the course, you know, since it's the same thing every week that I come here, you know, the targets are, you know, the same distance in the same spots every time, you know, I find myself kind of trying to train myself to take different shots and I'll show you guys what I mean with that. But anyway, um, but yeah, guys, so... You know, I might have to wait in line a little bit to start shooting, but we'll get it going. So let's do it. All right, everyone. So before we get shooting, I wanted to go over a list of the things that I personally carry with me when I uh, go on these archery courses. Um, don't get me wrong, guys. You don't need this stuff. When I first started, I had my bow and a handful of arrows and I went with it like it's not needed but over time I slowly got different things to help you know make things a lot easier for myself because I was finding myself running to the car if I you know if I needed something like you know if I lost a knock if I needed to go get you know it's just little stupid things that can ruin your day you know so I'm gonna start with uh, the first thing whether it's um, a waist around your waist or on your back um, you should get some kind of a quiver you're gonna need a quiver that doesn't attach to your bow okay like yes you can use your arrow you know you can store your arrows on your bow but I don't know my personal preference I don't like to shoot you know 50 arrows with my quiver on but I mean you know they do say if that's how you're gonna hunt then that's how you should practice right so don't listen to me with that said I kind of went the extra step and I purchased a um, a release pouch so my setup basically is around my waist like this right so I can you know I have both of my hands at least one of my hands because I got to carry my bow so that's that so the next thing you're gonna need is a stand for your bow okay invest into one of these suckers clamps right onto your bottom limb and it allows you to put your bow on the ground and the other you know you put this on the front limb and you put the bow on the ground and your bottom um, cam goes on the you know goes on the ground as well so it kind of just sits in place I do notice that some of these archery courses they don't really have any place to put your bow down when you're you know getting your arrows or you know whatever you're doing so it's always good even if they do have um, like the course that we're shooting today um, you know they do have like pins on the trees but I don't trust them like they're old they, they're you know they're sitting in the elements for how God knows how many years so just get something like this guys it's reliable it's easy to just set down really quick and it just it makes life so much easier you know you don't want to set your lay your bow on the, the ground and have something you know knock it and you know knock your sight off or whatever so this will keep your bow nice and safe so the next thing is I use, you know, another reason why I have a, um, an arrow quiver is not just to hold arrows. <laughs> so, another thing you're going to want is a Vegas or some kind of target, paper target, okay? When you go on these courses, guys, the foam targets that are provided are not always the best. Sometimes they don't even exist. You go out there, they're either chopped up or they're just, they've been shot up or you know ruined by the weather that they just you can't even use them so I always grab one of these bro tip if you have a laminator laminate these all right they still won't make them last forever but if you go to the range on a rainy morning or it just rained the night before everything's you know wet soaked your targets will not last more than um, probably past your second target <laughs> The, these will, you know, obviously they're paper, so they'll get wet fast, they'll soak up, and then they'll just fall apart. So if you can laminate them, do that, guys, because they will last a little longer, and they will help you out, save you a couple bucks. Next, 
Obviously, I'm just going to state the obvious. If you shoot with a release aid, you know, you're going to want your release. That's why I have my pouches, my pouch, because this pouch can hold two releases. That's why I got it and I don't have it, you know, just can't throw my release in my quiver because I like to have a couple releases on me at a time. Uh, next very important thing guys um, on this course they have a couple flags out marked 25 yards um, that according to my rangefinder is not accurate so you guys need to get a rangefinder go on Amazon you know, spend hundreds of dollars if you want to spend sixty dollars if you want to but I recommend at least spending fifty sixty dollars I don't think you can even find them for anything less than that but if you do do not buy it because it will not last. So at least spend $60 on a rangefinder, guys. This one right here, it's in my pouch. I think I paid $60 on Amazon. Um, no issue so far. Another thing, very important, is a set of Allen keys, all right? Very important too, just as important as the rangefinder. If you're out halfway through that course and you notice you're not, you know, you have to adjust your sights, or, you know anything you can't do that unless you don't have one of these and you don't want to have to run all the way back to the car for a little bit of a, an adjustment or if not worse end the whole session altogether because something's wrong with your bow you know you don't want to do that so it's always worth having a set with you no matter where archery course whenever you're shooting you should have allen keys with you um, it's just important <laughs> you know what I'm talking about guys you know if you're not new to archery you know what I'm talking about so uh, I think we have everything we need you know I if I don't need it I don't buy it but I do notice these things are effective enough where it makes my life that much more easier and that's why I make I'm mentioning this in this video because it's worth it guys you, you need to have if you are serious about archery and you shoot frequently you, I mean, I think I spent $25 on the um, the quiver for my waist on Amazon. It's not super expensive unless you're going and buying name brand stuff like Easton. And like, you know, if you find something that Hoyt or Matthews makes, God, oh man, I don't, I don't even want to see the price tag on those. I come out of the shop missing a digit every time. It, it it's, it's ridiculous, honestly. <laughs> for what it is, it's it's a joke, but. What do you want, guys? If it's something you love, you're going to spend money on it, right? So, But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over that really quick before we get shooting because it is an important part of the whole experience. You know, it's all about the fun. But if I can, you know, make your life a little bit easier, definitely get these, you know, these things down, all right? But all right, guys, um, we're going to start setting up here and we're going to start shooting, all right? All right, guys. So, we're at target two, and this is one of my favorite targets now because of one reason. So, if you look behind me here, let me see if I can... So, right here is where, you know, according to the course is where we're supposed to stand. And then behind me here is the target, okay? So, for some reason, guys, they have little tags in the ground right here. You know, it says 25 yards. The thing with that is, like, it's not accurate. So, and then the, and then, you know, probably five, ten yards back is where the, you know, the marker is for the taking the shot. What I'm going to do, instead of standing right here and shooting the target right there, okay, I think it's about 35, 36 yards, you know. I'm going to look at this trail that I took to get here. It's my favorite part. I'm going to backtrack, right? You're walking, you're walking, you're walking. And then off the trail, we have a little gap here. Right there is the target. And this is where we're going to shoot it. And this is about 55 yards. Um, I've shot this in the past and it's been about 55-ish yards. So I'm going to set up and we'll take a couple long shots, guys. It's important to do this. So like, you know, my, 
I've, I'm at this course every week, all right? And every week I stand on that pin and I shoot that 35, 36 yards every week, okay? Nothing changes. This, you know, so I started to get bored. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing, guys. You gotta have to like use the environment and kind of make your own targets. Get, get between a couple of trees. Make that shot between the trees. Like, kind of like I am, but this isn't very much of a good example as a gap because it's very wide, so it's not really. But, you know, get those, um, make those difficult shots, guys. If you're going to make a shot and you're worried about losing, you're like, oh, crap, I'm about to lose an arrow. Good. That's how you're going to learn how to shoot better. You can't, like hold on to arrows guys you can't expect to keep them forever and you need to experiment you need to be willing to lose an arrow you know you need to have your crappiest arrow i know i got two crappy ones just in case i come you know just in case i find that one shot i want to you know take that's like oh crap i know i'm gonna lose this i'm gonna try it because i need to know what it's like to make these shots so but anyway so i'm gonna set up get target two going and we're going to keep moving.